In this quick tutorial today, we're going to help the robot detect claps and move forward for one second when it detects a clap. This is going to be a short but fun video. So let's get going. Welcome back to Learn As You Explore, your go-to place for MBOT 2 tutorials. If you are new here, I'm a robotics software engineer who loves helping students learn robotics and supporting teachers who teach it. If you're excited to grab the MBOT 2 or any accessories, check out the links in the description. I've added Amazon and MakeBlock links. If you use the links, I may earn a commission at no extra cost to you. Thanks for supporting the channel. Open MBlock. Let's give our project a name. I'm going to call it Clap to Move and save your program. Let's first add the MBOT 2 robot by clicking Add, selecting the MBOT 2 and select OK. As always, we'll start off with the when button B pressed event. This will help us start the program when we press button B. Let's print something on the display to indicate that the program is ready and running. I'm just going to say clap to move. Now we want to wait one second right after we print this message. This is to prevent any false clap detections from the sound that comes when you press button B. This mainly happens because button B is very close to the microphone and so the loudness sensor picks up large values when pressing the button and we don't want the robot to move for this false detection. Next, we'll get a repeat until block from the control category and this will be our main loop. We want to repeat until button A is pressed so that we can stop the program by pressing button A. And now for the core logic of our program. We want to check if the loudness is greater than some value and we'll use that logic to detect a clap. So we need an if block for which we'll go to the control category and use the if then block. The condition we want to check is loudness greater than some threshold. So we want a greater than block here from the operators category. Use that. The first operand here is going to be loudness which we can get from the sensing category block. Use the loudness block as the first operand. The second operand is the threshold we want to set. From my testing, I found that a value of 25 works well. Feel free to tweak and adjust this value as needed based on your environment. If you find that claps are not being detected, you might want to lower this value. If you find that there are false claps being detected a lot, you might want to increase this value. Again, this all depends on your environment, so feel free to adjust this as needed. Now that we've detected a clap, we want the robot to move forward, for which we'll use the MBOT2 chassis category and use the moves forward block. Remember to use the moves forward at some RPM for a given duration block. I'm going to run this at 25 RPM Again, feel free to adjust the speed as per your desire. And I'm going to run it for one second. Now, when the motors move and the robot is moving forward, you know that there's going to be some sounds from the motor. And since we're using sound to detect the clap as well, this is going to interfere with the loudness detection. So what we want to do is once again, wait for one second after the robot has moved. You can go to the control category and use the wait one second block right after moving. Once the robot moves forward for one second, it will wait for one second before detecting the next loudness value. If you don't have this wait one second, the sound from the wheel motors can cause false clap detections in this if condition block. So adding this waiting for one second helps prevent those false clap detections. Finally, we'll clear the display right before we exit the program. And you're done. This is the program for clap detection and to move the robot when it detects the clap. We've also included a couple of wait one second blocks to prevent false clap detections. Great, let's connect our robot and upload code to the robot. Wait for the code to be uploaded. And great, it's now time to test it out on the robot and see the program in action. If you're a passionate teacher and want to make teaching robotics with MBOT2 easier, check out the educator packs I've put together linked in the description. It's on my Gumroad page 
and you also have a free lesson pack to check out before you make a purchase. If you've made it this far in the video, please consider giving the video a thumbs up by clicking the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. It really helps keep the channel going. Here are some of my other videos that you may find helpful. Happy programming, and I'll see you in the next one.